What's happening guys? Welcome to RTH Tech TV. This is Nokia 6.1 Plus and today in this video let's see 35 plus best features and also some very important tips and tricks. Uh, make sure to watch this video till then and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, that will surely motivate us to make more such videos. And also guys, complete list of specification and buying links are given in the description box below. Kindly check them out as well. Um, now this phone actually comes with 3060 milliamp per battery guys and the good thing is it supports fast charging. Uh, the box, the charger provided in the box uh, is the normal 2 amp, you know, 5 volt 2 amp charger. So it's not a quick charger. I've actually used this uh, Xiaomi's quick charger 3.0, uh, which you can find on Amazon for around 500 rupees or so. I'll leave the links in the description box below. You can check that out. Here's a quick stats, guys, on how fast it charges. You can have a look at it. Uh, as I mentioned, I'll leave the links in the description box below. You can check this out. And uh, next, guys, this phone also supports dual 4G VoLTE. That is, at any given time, you can install two Geo SIM cards. That's pretty convenient in my opinion. Let me quickly show you. So I have uh, actually installed Airtel and Geo right now. And if I have to go to network and internet and mobile network uh, and, um, you know, advanced. So you can see that uh, the preferred network type for Airtel uh, is being set to 4G. And even on Geo, um, the preferred network type is being set to 4G. So it does support, you know, dual 4G VoLTE. And in, in my opinion, that's it's pretty convenient feature. Next, guys, uh, this phone also supports CDLA headphones or sound output through Type-C port. Uh, it does have 3.5 mm headphone jack, unlike Mi A2. Uh, but um, good thing is it also supports, uh, you know, audio through uh, this Type-C port. These are CDLA headphones from Leeco. Uh, they have pretty good bass quality, very good voice clarity. And over everything, they're pretty loud. You can find them on Amazon under 1000 rupees. Um, I'll leave the links in the description box below. You can check them out. And guys, there is one very important thing which I've noticed. There is no issue in terms of music playback, but uh, it cannot handle calls as of now. That is, you cannot make calls using these headphones. Uh, that is not true with other uh, Type-C phones. For example, if beat Poco F1 or Mi A2, they support music playback and also uh, you know they can handle calls so this is one thing which i believe the software team should work on and uh, you know push the update as soon as possible and uh, now as you can see guys this device comes with that very compact and handy form factor as you can see uh, it, it has that 5.8 inch form factor now to further enhance this single anti disability we have gestures being provided for example you can uh, swipe on the fingerprint sensor to access the notification tray or notification panel as you can see, all the quick toggles, which is very convenient in my opinion. You can enable or disable this one under settings, under system, under gestures. As you can see, uh, you have something called a swipe fingerprint for notifications. You can turn this on and with this, you can also turn other gestures. I'll quickly let you know what this actually means. Um, another important is lift to check the phone. Now, one con with this device is uh, it does not come with notification LED light. Uh, so we have the ambient display being provided. I'll tell you what it is. So if you pick up the phone, guys, you'll get notified about the time, date, and also notifications from particular application. You'll be shown with the icons of those applications over here. Uh, this is, uh, you know, as a, it, this is an alternative to the notification LED light. This is also called as ambient display. You can enable the enable or disable this one under display settings as well. Now, if I have to explain about other gestures, uh, they are pretty self-explanatory, guys. Uh, you can mute on pickup. That is, when you get a call, if you just pick it up, then you can mute the ringtone. And uh, you can turn over to reject the call. So if you get a call, you can just, you know, uh, put it face down to reject the call. So they are pretty self-explanatory. One more thing, one more very important gesture which I liked is um, jump to camera. So you can double press the power button from any screen to go to camera application directly. So I'll quickly show you that one. Uh, be it you're on lock screen or on the off screen or on any of the home screen, you can actually access the camera so i'll quickly show you from the lock screen as you can see so if you have any action scenes going around you then you can definitely use this one so that you don't miss on any of the important things as you can see uh, and now as we are in the camera application itself guys let me go to home screen uh, we are in the camera application i'll quickly tell you some of the important things over here so if you go to video and if you go to settings over here you can see that i can record videos up to 4k which is again a pretty good thing and this phone also supports uh, slow motion video recording guys but it does not allow you to select uh, you know like the frame rate be it 120 fps or 240 fps and one more thing which i did not like in terms of slow motion is it hunts for focus uh, that's definitely not a good thing to have 
and uh, this phone also has time lapse mode guys as you can see or the hyperlapse mode which uh, you can use to capture sunrise sunsets or cityscapes this is also pretty helpful you can check this out and uh, one more very important thing which i've noticed is google lens guys i'll quickly tell you what it means so you can search for products by just you know taking a picture of them and if you go to the gallery uh, you can find an option over here to go to google lens so if you click on this one it actually searches for the product um, and gives you the best buy links as you can see uh, it has suggested me the boya B bym1 it is the same exact model as you can see so i can click this one and then go ahead and purchase uh, from the online retailers so it's pretty helpful guys but it does not work the same way every time guys it's a hit or a miss now we also have portrait mode which has perfect edge detection like asus max pro m1 or redmi note 5 pro and even if there are multiple people you shouldn't have any issues in terms of edge detection and uh, in the software department we also have something called as refocus and bokeh level adjustment that is after taking pictures you can refocus on the background or on the foreground that is on the subject and you can also adjust the bokeh level guys which is pretty convenient in my opinion and not only that guys this phone also has dual to an led flash so even in low light or ultra low light situation you should get images with very natural colors and this phone also has uh, auto hdr guys which you can find under um, you know the camera application itself so it definitely highlights the shadows and details pretty well so you can enable this one if you want to and not only that guys but this also has lot of modes like um, you know bothi they call it, they like to call it bothi wherein it captures front facing camera uh, images from front facing camera and rear facing camera at the same time we also have something called as pip that is uh, uh, picture in picture which also provides the same thing but you'll have smaller image of the front facing camera and larger image of the rear facing camera and you have uh, half baked ai features which should be improved you know in future updates uh, there is no dedicated flash for the front facing camera the screen itself brightens up uh, you know to get that uh, brighter images uh, you know in ultra low light or low light situations and uh, next guys speaking about the display uh, we have we do have double tap to wake which is again pretty convenient as you can see you can enable this one or disable this one under display settings itself so as you can see you can enable this one here as you can see under display settings you have something called a tap to wake you can enable this one so by doing so uh, no matter where you place the device you just double tap and then you know if you have some uh, notifications you can definitely have a look at them and um, if you use the face unlock and the double tap to wake in combination then you don't have to press the power button at all this does have face unlock guys i'll quickly show you where you can find that go to settings go to security and location uh, go to smart lock this does not have a dedicated face unlock but uh, this is the one which google provides it's not that safe guys or secure it opens even if you close your eyes so as you can see you have something called a trusted face you should go here and then enable this one uh, so this is not that secure guys as i mentioned uh, it works even if you close your eyes so this again should be improved through software update and uh, not only that guys there is a feature to disable the notch as you can see you have a notch in the display but uh, the latest update has disabled it uh, from the you know settings panel and they have also confirmed that in the future updates they will again add it back so in future you can actually enable or disable this under display settings itself go to display and uh, here you can see status bar style so click on this one and uh, here you can see that you have the notch display or if you want you can also enable this uh, complete black bar on the top giving you that 18 is to 9 aspect ratio so you can choose you can find this under display settings guys as mentioned earlier so this will be added in the future updates and uh, not only that guys but um, this also has the night mode or the night light they like they like to call it so which is nothing but the blue light filter so if you enable this one uh, you can actually as you can see uh, it actually gives that warmer tone to the display this is pretty good if you have habit of reading in low light or at the night and um, you can also enable the you know intensity and you can also schedule this one as you can see uh, to custom time or at sunset or sunrise this is, so this is definitely helpful you can also try this one and uh, some of the other display qualities if i have to mention uh, the whites look actually pure white guys as you can see if i have to exactly compare with poco f1 you can see that go to settings as you can see poco f1 has slightly warmer tone but it's also pretty good uh, and it's not as warm as other uh, devices like asus max pro m1 but this has like purest whites right so that is one more thing and if you can see this can get pretty bright outdoors you know and also very dim in indoors this is again pretty helpful if you have habit of reading you know at night or in low light and uh, again guys this phone has all the necessary sensors i've mentioned this in the unboxing video 
I have to exactly show you. If you go to CPU Z application, if you go to sensors, it has accelerometer, magnetometer, gyroscope, all the necessary sensors, guys. You can um, use applications like Compass because it has magnetometer, and you can also play 360 videos on YouTube without any issues because it has gyroscope. Uh, next, this phone also has Bluetooth 5.0, guys, and it supports dual Wi Fi band. That is, it supports 2.4 gigahertz and also 5 gigahertz. That's again a pretty good thing. And as mentioned earlier, this also supports the dual 4G VoLTE uh, without any issues. Next, guys, this uh, has the multi window feature. Let's quickly see how to access that one. Now, there are two ways to access this multi window feature. Uh, firstly, if you're in an application, for example, I'm in YouTube, you can press and hold the recent apps button and it gives you an option to select uh, from the applications or the menu opened in the recent apps tray. So click on that to enter the split screen mode. Now, the other way to do is you can directly go to the recent apps tray and then uh, press and hold on any of the applications opened, drag it onto the top wherein it says split screen and then you'll be able to access the split screen mode. Now guys, quickly let's see how to take the screenshot. Now the traditional way to take screenshot is to press the power button and the volume down button at the same time. So as you can see, it actually takes the screenshot. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. The other way is uh, you also have a software button being provided in the quick toggles. As you can see, which says screen capture, click on that and uh, you'll be able to take the screenshot. And uh, guys, uh, you can also customize this quick toggles. I'll quickly show you how to do that. Uh, for example, you can see a edit button over here. Click on that and um, uh, there are a lot of items which uh, you can bring onto the main panel. For example, if I want this uh, cast option onto the main panel, I can just press and hold and then bring it onto the, you know, drag and drop it onto the main panel. And uh, if I go back, I'll be able to see uh, the cast option being added onto the main panel. It's pretty simple, guys. Now, there is one more very important thing which I personally liked. You can also change the icon, uh, you know, shape, guys. For that, you'll have to press and hold on the home screen. Go to home screen settings. Now, here we have something called as change icon shape. So if you click on that, then we have some available options. For example, let's select square. Then if you go to home screen, you can see that all the icons have been changed to square. This definitely looks good. You can try this out. And uh, I just want to quickly tell you about the system UI tuner as well, guys. So you can press and hold on the settings icon, uh, which should add the system UI tuner onto the settings page. So let's go to system. Let's go to system UI tuner. Now here you can actually control certain things. For example, uh, if I need this uh, time to be displayed in our minutes and seconds, then I can do that. For example, you can see here, you have an option, select this one. And now you can see that we have our minutes and also seconds being displayed. Now, if you want, you can also add these things or, you know, if you want, you can also disable them. For example, if I don't need this auto rotate screen on the status bar, then I can disable that as you can see. So in this way, you can control a lot of things. And uh, if you don't need this, you can also disable this one. So click on this extendable menu button and then, you know, you can hit on remove from settings and it would be removed. So that's it guys. Uh, this also is definitely helpful. You can check this out. Now we have something called a safe mode as well, guys. So press and hold on the power button. And if you press and hold on the power off button, then uh, you'll get an option to go uh, to boot into safe mode. So if you have to troubleshoot anything, then you can go into that mode. So there the third party applications would be disabled. And uh, if you want to get back to the normal mode, you can just, uh, you know, reboot your phone and you'll be back to your normal mode. So that's uh, pretty helpful as well. Try this out. Next, we all know that this phone comes with Snapdragon 636 processor, uh, which is a 14 nanometer processor with custom cryo cores. And it's coupled with Adreno 509 GPU. We have seen it on uh, Asus Max Pro M1 and also on Redmi Note 5 Pro. It's a pretty capable processor and can play all the high-end games you throw at it very smoothly. Next, this is supplemented by Android One program. So you get clean stock vanilla Android experience and uh, you can make sure your device stays secure and up to date with the latest Android updates and also regular security patches. Now, finally, guys, I have to speak about Design and Build. It has Gorilla Glass 3 protection for the display. Uh, it has glass back panel and also metal edges running around the body. So it definitely looks and feels very premium. But you can see that uh, the con is it's a fingerprint magnet, guys, as you can see. And um, it's also pretty slippery. So it's a good idea to add a case. I'll definitely try and suggest some best case and also perfect tempered glass in the description box below. Kindly check that out. So that's it, guys. If you feel this video was informative, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Follow us on Twitter at RGH Tech TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.